Wade, rise and shine. It's time to get to work. Chloe, just because you're one of the first ones to arrive doesn't mean we all have to get to work as soon as you. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. Oh, sorry. Rough night with Glynis. You mean she's not overseeing your Sasquatch friend bite the head off a hunter in her apartment? <gasps> Perish the thought. No, it's just that it's a few months into our relationship and we're already running into a routine. Dinner, sex, dinner, sex, dinner, 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 no sex. I think you both need a vacation. Believe me, we talked about that. But Dookie's alien money only came out to 50 Earth cents, and Sasquatch and I have worked out a bit of financing. Every month he buys me at least three Manhattans at the bar. Well, you better pray you get some work fast, because the only thing to make your hangover go away is good old-fashioned beach sex with Glynis. Good afternoon. I'm inquiring about a case that could take you and one other lucky person to the Amazon jungle. The jungle. I hear the Ozarks are beautiful this time of year. My name is Professor Edward Mannix. I teach a film class at the University of College, and I fear one of my students has gone missing. And you thought nothing good was gonna happen. You've come to the right place, Professor. Both Chloe and I can spell the word Amazon. Eli was the most energetic person in my class. He heard that the Pusa tribe of South Central Amazon were a sophisticated group of partiers and that filming himself smoking pot with them would really stick it to social media activists. Sounds like an intelligent person, unless you think about it for a second. When's the last time you heard from Eli? Every day he would send me pictures of him and the Pusas eating pancakes. I was relieved when the pictures stopped, but I suppose I'd be bad at my job if one of my students died on my watch. So why aren't you going to the Amazon yourself to get him? Hey, look, I care, but I don't care that much. Plus, the Amazon jungle is full of cannibals. Lloyd, I don't know if you should do this. You could get really hoit. Well, it can't be as bad as this guy says. It's obvious he just doesn't want to spend more time with this Eli guy. Plus, this could be the excuse I need to take Glynis on vacation. Professor Mannix, I'll go to the Amazon, deal with the cannibals, and bring back the corpse of your dead student Eli. Just in time for my Professor of the Year award. <laughs> The in-flight music is truly lovely, I must say. You never cease to surprise me, Lloyd. And remember, if I have to duck away for an hour or two, it definitely isn't because of work. It's because the rain in said rainforest causes explosive diarrhea. Lloyd, I have a feeling this will be the perfect vacation. Look at the bright side. They put our bags on the right plane. Hola, mi amigo. My name is Roger, and I will be your guide to the jungle. Uh, how did you know to meet us at the crash site? What crash site? This is the airport, amigo. How much longer do we have to walk? Relax, senorita. I've been doing this many years. I know how to get you to the hotel safely. Well, that seemed highly unnecessary. Maybe that's lunch. Leave it. Don't be such a grump, Lloyd. At least we're together. <laughs> Glynis! Well, that's just great. Now I have to find some douchebag film student I never met, but also my girlfriend, who I actually like. With my expertise, we will find your lady friend before the sun goes down. If that's supposed to shock me, it's just making me angry. 
What's going on? I don't know any of you people. Are you the mayor? Hello, I am native number one, the mayor of the Pusa. We wanted to make sure you were safe there away from the armed devil. He's always killing our fellow creatures for no reason at all. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. Do you have somewhere I can freshen up? Why, yes. Follow me to our village, this beautiful holiday resort hotel. Yes, your dick is very huge. You can stop that now. We must get some rest, amigo. Come, we can sleep safely inside the mouth of this dead Amazonian crocodile. I don't know how to tell you this, but that crocodile is not only alive, but very hungry. Portobello mushroom risotto, bacon wrapped sea scallops, pan seared crab cake bites, and a baby spinach side salad. I think I can really get used to brunch. Meerkat brains, turtle brains, pot-bellied pig brains, and tarantula brains. No room on the buffet cart for monkey brains? This ain't the Temple of Doom. This is the real world, amigo. Now grab this shotgun. We're heading over the river to shoot a baby elephant. <laughs> I believe it's my serve next, Umberto. You're right, my lady. You're our guest, so you always win. This is the greatest vacation of my entire life. Glynis! Glynis! I sense trouble, Princess Glynis. <sighs> oh, Lloyd, what's going on? We went to the river because Raja needed some tusks for his boots, and one thing led to another, and he may have shot and killed the chief's wife. <laughs> That would be our competing village, the Assaws. We play against them next week in the annual volleyball championship. Oh, well, say, you wouldn't happen to have a film on hand of an American film student doing something stupid and getting himself killed, would you? What do you think we'd show around the clock on our hotel's pay-per-view network? Great! Come on, Glennis, we're leaving. <laughs> I must warn you, Professor. What you're about to see may be extremely graphic and disturbing. Many animals unnecessarily lost their lives to bring us this footage. Popcorn is popped. I'm ready to watch the movie. <laughs> oh, Chief Heathcliff doesn't know how to inhale? Face. I'm out of here. You know what'll make this some party? I'm gonna light your entire village on fire. Woo! Satire! Now remember, don't leak this film online or that will severely impact my box office numbers. Just kidding, no one wants to watch this shit. <laughs> Too bad they spoiled that ending by making it the box cover. You did excellent work, Lloyd. One day you'll make a fine private detective. I am a private detective. If Eli was still alive, I was gonna put in for early retirement. Now I don't have to worry about that moron showing up to class next semester. Good day. I wonder who the real assholes are. Bartender? So how was your vacation, Lloyd? I'm haunted with the idea that I'll never get the taste of tarantula brain out of my mouth. Is it time for another Manhattan? No, it's time for a real vacation. 